hope all are fine at your end moving on to the next chapter lesson number 8 motion introduction as we come out of our house and observe things happening around us we find many things are moving whereas some are stationary in case of moving we are able to see the vehicles moving around us people walking the birds flying in the sky the blood circulated in our body the in and out of air inside our body whereas stationary things we are able to see the trees the vehicles parked in the parking moving on to the topic motion what is motion motion is the change in position of a body with time with respect to another body reference point reference point is a point which is taken into consideration to change see the change in the position of the body now motion along a straight path here we will draw a straight line which consists of four points o a b c each dotted line here means 5 km o represents 0 km c represents 25 b represents 35 a represents 60 the here in order to find the distance between a and c as studied in mathematics we can see a represents 60 and c represents 25 so the distance between a and c is 60 minus 25 35 now quantity what is quantity quantity is a phenomenon or matter which can be measured there are two types of quantity scalar quantity and vector quantity scalar quantity is the quantity which requires only magnitude for its description whereas vector quantity is a quantity which requires magnitude as well as direction for its description now moving on to our example related to the motion along a straight path first let the object move from c and b and reach a and from a it returns to c so the total length of the path covered by an object when moved from o to a and a to c is 60 plus 35 that is 95 km this total path covered by the object is known as distance so friend the definition of distance is the total length of the path covered by a body it is denoted by small d the si unit of distance is meter next quantity is displacement it is nothing but the difference between the initial and final position it is also represented by small d its unit is also meter displacement is the difference between final position and initial position in the initial case we had seen that the object has started its journey from o to a and from a it reaches c so in order to find the displacement in this case it is final position minus initial position that is 25 minus 0 25 km next uniform and non uniform motion uniform motion means if a body covers equal distance in equal interval of time then the body is said to be performing uniform motion here we will just take an example in this table we can see at 8 am the distance traveled by object a in meter is 10 in 8 by 8:15 am it covers 20 meter 8:30 am 30 8:45 40 so now in order to find whether the distance covered by object a is equal or not we need to take the difference between d2 minus d1 that is 20 minus 10 10 and the time t2 minus t1 that is 815 minus 8 that is 15 minutes now in order to get the other difference that is d3 minus d2 30 minus 20 that is 10 time t3 minus t2 that is again 15 minutes now as we move further t d4 minus d3 that is 40 minus 30 10 and 845 minus 
that is 15 minutes. So here you can see in each 15 minute, the distance traveled by object A in meters is 10. So we can say that the object A is moving in uniform motion. Whereas if we move on to the second table, just beside it, it is the distance traveled by object B in meter. We have already seen the time interval, which is 15 meter. But if you see the difference in distance, that is D2 minus D1 is 7, D3 minus D2 is 4, D4 minus D3 is 12. Here, the distance traveled by object B in meter is not equal in equal interval of time. So we say that the body is performing non-uniform motion. Example of uniform motion is the motion of the minute hand in the clock. Whereas non-uniform motion is the motion of a vehicle in traffic. Next topic is speed. Speed definition is the distance traveled by a body in unit time. It is a scalar quantity because it requires only magnitude for its description. The formula for speed is S equal to D by T, where S stands for speed, D for distance, T for time. The unit of speed is meter per second and kilometer per hour. Now, as we have seen, there are two types of motion, uniform motion and non-uniform motion. If a body is moving in uniform motion, we can calculate the speed of the vehicle easily. But if the vehicle is moving in non-uniform motion, we need to know the term average speed. What is average speed? Average speed is nothing but the ratio of total distance traveled upon total time taken. The formula for it is SAV equal to total distance traveled upon total time taken. Its unit is meter per second and kilometer per hour.